at first, at first, we understand that the community is the big creative force for us. So sometimes community can do things much, much better and more deep than we can. Uh, so we understand that we need to use all of this power, but of course it's impossible to create everything just for 16 months. So <laughs> all big things with the tools we expect to create soon after release. We plan to do, of course, a mission editor at first. Uh, we have one in uh, Rise of Light, but in Rise of Light we created maybe too complicated. A lot of possibilities. You can do like a whole new game based on our engine, but not a lot of people doing uh, the missions because they say, oh, it's too much. It's like to, to learning new language for us. So, okay, right now we grab this experience and we try to create something more accessible for, for the ILT. I cannot right now say uh, like October, November, or February or March, because I don't know how much resources we can uh, we can rise up during the release to do this. But believe me, we do it. So we know and we understand. Also, of of course, are uh, in a flight sim com community, a lot of people like to to create their own, you know, like skills. We also expect the help uh, of the creative people in community to do uh, things for us. Uh, we have it in Rise of Light. In Rise of Light right now we have more than 5,000 or something like this skins created by, by our by community and some of them amazing. Uh, so tools to create skins also and maybe after this are uh, tools to create campaigns from missions. So the same approach that are close that original IL2 uh, provide for uh, for the funds because these tools means long life uh, for the games. We're thinking about it, we're working on it, but right now I cannot do any because, as I say, we never sell expectations. So yeah, we wait for some time. We're thinking about it. We understand that this is impossible. Uh, this is uh, uh, important part of the. Uh, simulation design you don't believe me but we already have one map created by community okay. uh, this is the, the territory near the Novgorod Veliki Luki and oh, mm, crazy things like we never uh, open editor for them we never help them we say guys game in development just for 10 months and we don't have time to do this they say okay we don't need your help <laughs> and right now they create map uh, as good as we have in our development process with any help from uh, from us so this is really force of creation <laughs> and this is just an example so after release we can focus it on this and help people like create documents what you need to create maps or something like this so i expect yeah something interesting in this yeah, uh, yes, but of course uh, also people need to understand that the modern technologies are more complicated and if you want to uh, to use all of these new elements you need to create it more complicated maps so yes. it's not so easy like every time one step forward in development and two step from the designer because right now more polygons are more working with the hate maps rivers forests everything i know i played yeah. everybody played uh, these maps and it's look very cool we understand the finnish guys because mm -hmm. we both understand the winter <laughs> <laughs> so we have tools to create uh, the, the winter so Oh, I want to say only, uh, of course, yes. But right now, just we, you need to wait yeah. for us. We need some more resources to do this because right now everybody in the team concentrating only on one idea to create the best flight sim in the world. So this is eating all our time. Yeah. Soon after this, we don't think. But as I say, we already have people in community who doing their custom maps. So maybe the better way 
or uh, for creative people in Finland, ask them how to do this. And maybe you just don't need developers because you have everything or you need to create maps. And of course, if you do it, we implement it in a game, because it's amazing.